Hello everybody and welcome back, The Seafood Cook here. Today we're going to be doing breaded place with a nice mojito mayonnaise. So for today's ingredients we're going to be using garlic, red chilli, mint, lime leaves, coriander, ground cumin, ground coriander, oregano, paprika, slices of bread and mayonnaise. Perfect, so now we're going to start with the mojito mayonnaise and now what we're going to do is just group all of the herbs together and just finely chop them all like so and the only reason I'm doing it this way is because all the ingredients are going to be used in the mayonnaise anyway so to speed the process up we're just going to chop them all together so now we've broken down all of the ingredients we're going to get our mayonnaise and we're just going to simply add it straight in Right, so now that it's all in the mayonnaise, next up, ground coriander, and we're just gonna get a teaspoon, like that. Ground cumin, same again. And we're just gonna mix it. Right, next up is the bread. And as you can see, I've already prepped some here because the process that I'm doing is rather long. If you've got a kitchen blender, obviously it's a lot easier to do it with that. But I'm just using a bit more of a traditional method. Also with this, if you're gluten-free, you can use gluten-free bread and gluten-free flour for the egg wash as well. So as you can see, I've just put the sieve over the top of the bowl and we're just gonna grate it in. Now what I did with the bread to dry it out, is I left it out in the sun for a couple of hours, or even the day in fact. And what that done, is that just enabled it to go a bit stale, which makes this process so much more easier. I mean, if you don't manage to do that, you can always do it with toast, you can always toast it, put it in the oven for a couple of minutes just to dry it out. So as you can see, I'm coming to the end of my bread. And this is the sort of consistency you're looking for, really, really fine pieces. Moving on, garlic. Cut down there, cut down there. As you can see, I've left this bit here. That enables this to peel really, really easily. Just a little quick way of doing it. Once it's peeled, down on the chopping board, crush it, cut down. carry on dicing down and we're going to repeat the process for the other one as well. Right, garlic done, moving on to the chilli. Stalk comes off, cut in half and we're just going to remove all this bit in the middle here. We don't actually need those. Once you've done that, flatten, cut down. Dice. Because this is all going into the breadcrumb mix. So we want to try and get them as small as we possibly can. Right, so now that the chili's done, push it over to one side. Get our breadcrumbs and just add it in. Get a wooden spoon, just mix it all together, just so those breadcrumbs stick to those ingredients. Now it's all binded together nicely, it's time to add a tiny bit of oregano and our paprika as well. And this is going to give it a nice colour. Lastly, the egg wash. I've got 200 millilitres of milk in here to one egg. Obviously, if you're using more fish, use more milk and more egg. We're just going to whisk together. It's 
like so. Doing this is going to help bind the breadcrumbs to the fish nicely. So after we've done that, we're going to get a tray big enough so the fish can fit in and we're just going to pour the egg wash into it. Like that. Right, so with the place, I've used the belly side and that's because I prefer the taste to it. It's a bit more of a meatier taste, whereas the skin side's got a bit more of a seaweedy taste to it. So, flour. Then the egg wash. And straight into our breadcrumb mix. And really mix it in there. Just like that. And be sure to wash your hands before we get to the next step. Right, so with the oil, what I've done is I've put it on a medium heat. Just let it heat for a little bit, and now we're ready for the fish. And just lay it in gently, because it is very, very hot. Right, so with this, because it's such a small fish, it only needs to cook for four to five minutes in the pan, and you're looking to get this nice golden crispy color. Now the best thing to do with this is to carry the plate to the pan you don't want to spit in the hot oil everywhere. The tricky part about this is getting hold of the fish. Be really, really careful. Drip off the access oil. Pop it onto the plate. Finish it. Our mojito mayonnaise. So there we have it guys, it's my place fillets and bread come with my mojito mayonnaise. Be sure to like, subscribe and get that notification bell on. Also before I go, I am running a competition at the moment to win a free t-shirt or a hoodie. All you've got to do is just subscribe and comment down in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.